Hey guys, it's Mr. Creepy Men here again, uh, doing the second video blog. Uh, this time I'm going to be talking about the division and the top five things that I like about patch 1.1 and some of the things, just general game state, that I don't like. So the main thing that I like about patch 1.1 is that they did add um, the new incursions. Um, as you can see them right here. Uh, they do have some ridiculously good rewards, um, guaranteed gear set stuff, guaranteed yellow equipments, um, vanity items as well. I think that's new for mission completion. Um, but the main thing I really like about that is it's it adds another layer of gameplay um, to add in. It's essentially uh, a harder difficulty of the normal missions. Um, so it's just nice to have something else to do. Um... The other thing that I really like that they finally re-added, or they finally added, uh, is loot trading. Um, with a game like this, with it being so heavily invested in RNG, and then sometimes RNG inside of RNG for your items, um, having loot trading just makes it that much easier um, for you to get items that you need uh, for your build. Um, so basically how loot trading works is when you are in a party, if an item drops, then you have the option to drop that item for anyone who is in the party when it dropped. And then they have, essentially the items can be traded within two hours of picking them up, but they can only be traded to people who were in the party. Um, so it does kind of get rid of the whole um, people just sitting there farming for specific items and then uh, selling them online, stuff like that. So similar to the issues that uh, Diablo had when they had their real money auction house up. Um, and so that's, that's really nice. It just makes it so you don't have to... I guess, farm as hard. The farm aspect is still there, but this is just one way to kind of, I guess, negate how hard you have to farm for stuff. Because I guess, like, if your friend gets the piece and you need it, hoping they're nice and they'll drop it for you. Uh, if not, well, then back to farming you go. Um, so I think the... My, my third favorite thing for uh, patch 1.1 would be um, Dark Zone supply chests so essentially what that is is it's and basically adding another dynamic event to the dark zone um so what ends up happening is periodically um the jtf will send down a supply crate uh in the dark zone and you just you have to go run and secure them there are uh, enemies as well that do try to secure them so you basically have to stop, you have to kill them before you can go secure it. All of them do come with a boss. Um, so you have to kill the boss first, and then you can secure the chest. Uh, is it being attacked here? As I tunnel slightly clearing these guys out. There we go. And then the items that drop out of the chests, it has a chance to drop set items as well, which is really nice, so it gives you another way to get that stuff. Set items I will be talking about uh, just after this. But the other thing that's really nice about it is the items are not contaminated. So the items that come out of the supply drops, they go straight into your inventory, and you don't have to worry about extracting them. Uh, so if you do get a set piece or something like that out of there, you don't have to worry about somebody coming through and stealing your set piece and then... or killing you and then stealing your set piece and then you have to go hunt for it again and all that general shenanigans. Um, so the next thing, as I mentioned, is they did release gear sets. Currently I've only got two pieces for this set, but still. So essentially what gear sets do is, as you can see here, they have special bonuses on them. Um, so as you progress and collect more pieces of the set, you will end up getting more bonuses. There is four sets currently, so there's the Sentry one, which is essentially for snipers, the Strikers, which is just general assault stuff. 
Um, and then there is Tactician, which is the uh, skill power one, and the final one is Nomads, which has been deemed more of the uh, Dark Zone PvP one, um, just because the final buff does make it so when you do take fatal damage, uh, once every 10 minutes, I do believe it is, um, it restores you to full health, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, so those are, like, the set bonuses are just really, really nice to have. Um, being a veteran MMO player myself, um, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of the satisfaction of collecting the full set, getting that final, t like, tier bonus, and then just being able to laugh with how silly some of the, um, the set bonuses are. Um, and then... The other main thing I really, 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 really like that they did as well is actually one of the things I talked about in one of my previous videos is the daily and weekly assignments. Um, this basically gives people a reason to log in every day and do stuff. You get rewards for finishing your daily missions. They do change every single day. Um, so again, it is just one more thing to one more thing to add to gameplay that gives people something else to do, which is really nice for MMOs because there is a lot of MMOs that suffer from lack of content. Um, so those are those are the main things that I enjoy the most with the new patch. Um, but as always, there are going to be some things that people do not like. My my main problem is they ridiculously increased the requirements for crafting um so for people like myself who don't get to play all the time it makes it really hard to get crafting materials um without sitting there and farming for umpteenth amounts of time during the day um it's slightly mitigated because of the fact that um named bosses are pretty much guaranteed to drop yellows now. Um, so it's not as bad, because you're basically guaranteed to get yellows, so you're getting your yellow material from there. But for general conversion, it's pretty horrendous. Um, which kind of sucks, because some of the main ways to get gear uh, is through crafting. Um, but I guess I can't have everything. Um, the other main problem is people taking advantage of exploits. Um, so essentially, the, the main problem that the exploits were having was people being able to clear Falcon Lost on challenge mode, Falcon Lost is the incursion, um, without taking damage from the boss. Or what it would do is it would not spawn the enemies for the boss, and then you could basically just kill the boss without getting hurt. This chest is always a pain in the ass. Um, so it's just, it's people taking advantage of that and then getting geared out super quickly and ma then Massive being like, oh, well, it's an exploit, so we have to patch it and fix it. And the people who didn't get a chance to take advantage of the exploit are, I guess, not as geared because we actually have to complete it legit and it's ridiculously hard to complete even on, like, trying to complete it normally, it's just insane. So, but it's just general problems that they are working towards fixing. Um, we'll see what happens with the future. All in all, though, I am extremely pleased with the new patch. Um, I haven't been able to play as much as I would have liked, just due to school and stuff like that, but now that school's ending, um, I'm going to be able to play a lot more, so we'll see where what the future brings for the Division. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the second installment of my video blogs. Um, as always, if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, uh, leave them in the comment section below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, toss a like and a follow as well to keep up to date with all of the videos I'm going to be releasing in the future. And yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. So take care and enjoy all of your game playing, and happy hunting.